good everybody? Rashawn here. Welcome back to our channel, Not Your Mama's Greens. Now, I'm here with you for the first time doing this recipe for the first time. So we're going to learn together a little bit. We got this meatless meatball recipe. It's not totally vegan, but it is meatless. So we're going to bring it to you and see if you guys like it. If you like it, make sure you let us know. Let's get started. So the ingredients we have today, we don't have a lot. But we have enough to give you that meat flavor that you're looking for in these meatless meatballs. So first we have this garlic. We got about a tablespoon. And then we have half a teaspoon of this nutritional yeast. We got the mushrooms. We have a cup of breadcrumbs. Try to get the ones without the, um, the Romano cheese. We also have red onions chopped. Some sun-dried tomatoes partially diced. Got some flat parsley, Italian, and then we have red kidney beans in the back with, of course, salt and pepper. You can't do anything without salt and pepper and oregano. Instead of rinsing them off like you would usually do under um, some warm water, warm the cold water, today we just rinsed it off. Well, we just dried them off. Actually, with this paper towel, it's pretty moist. We got all the extra, um, extra dirt off and the grind that was on there. So it'll hold more of that flavor and you won't have so much of the water to, um, to dry out as you're cooking the meatballs. So it'll be a lot quicker once you put them in the pan and they won't have to drain out all that water in the back. So we're gonna start off by sauteing this garlic and the red onions that we have chopped up and minced. Just add a little salt about a good pinch and a good pinch of pepper and get this sauteed for about three to five minutes. Here we about have about a uh, half half a red onion and about a tablespoon of that um of that minced garlic. Now we're about to chop these mushrooms and get these in the pan next. So we're just gonna do a rough chop on these mushrooms since we're going to be Combining them with the red candy beans that we have sitting over to the left. So you don't need to put too much attention towards the the mushrooms as much since we're gonna be mashing them together. And start adding these mushrooms into the garlic and red onions. So while these mushrooms, red onions, and garlic are sauteing together, you can go ahead and start your sauce. We've got this oil already starting to heat up. So we can add our sauce into the pot. But you can add a little sugar in this. Huh. You a good, a good pinch. Get that oh. And get this mixed up. I'm gonna let this simmer for about five to ten minutes while we're getting these meatballs ready. Now that we got these mushrooms, red onions, and garlic sauteed together. I'm going to go ahead and add this into the red kidney beans. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add in this chopped parsley and with it, I'm going to do a rough chop on it. Just about a good handful. Getting a little bit of the stems in there is fine because it adds more flavor. More of the flavor is going to be in the part, more the uh, flavor of the parsley will be in the stems anyway. So let me share. I'm going to add these sun dried tomatoes, our nutritional yeast, and our breadcrumbs get this all mixed up and we're gonna add in our egg. We do recommend using 
a um, flaxseed and water combination, but you can use um, an egg if you don't have it, which we don't have it today, so I'm gonna be using an egg. Okay, so we definitely needed a bigger bowl for this process, so as I said, we're learning together, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that can be perfect when it's the first time, in my opinion, and if you are, you might just be some type of guru, some guy to cooking, I don't know. But we're gonna make this a little bit easier by putting it in the bigger bowl. Now we can use our hands and really, really get up in there. Really show us some love. Mm. Now you see this stickiness that we're getting out of this without the egg? Once we add that egg, it'll be nice and easy to roll up and fry up. Now we got this egg that we're gonna go ahead and drop in here and also add some oregano. Hands are a little bit nasty, so this oregano gonna get a little bit nasty too. I'm gonna do a good sprinkle over the top of that and get this all mixed in with the rest. So I gave it a little whiff. You always wanna smell what you cooking. And I see that it needs a little bit of spice. So we got a little Louisiana hot sauce. Give it a little uh. We are gonna mix this together. This is not your mama's greens over here. If it, if it needs a little bit more kick, we give it a little more kick. Just a little hint for you kids out there. You wanna clean while you cook. You know what I mean? So once you're done, you don't have so much to worry about. You can sit down, get your meal started, and worry about cleaning up the little other stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're cleaning while this oil heats up for our meatballs. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and make our balls. We like big balls over here, big meatballs over here. So we're gonna get our balls formed for our oil once it heats up. Our stove is a little jitty, so we had to make sure it was on. It wasn't on, but you know, uh, we gotta turn it on now this oil's heating up. So we got this oil heated up to about a medium high heat we can go ahead and start placing our balls in we do a good shallow fry on these I'm gonna put about six at a time we're gonna try to get all sides of these meatballs cooked if possible By the way, we are getting this idea from The Happy Pair on YouTube. Go check them out. But we kind of tweaked it to our own little flavor. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get these meatballs in the sauce. Once they're about fully, fully fried on each side. Oh my gosh! Oh, it popped me in the face! This is a casualty. <laughs> Of a first timer. Meatball down. Damn, that shit. Meatball down. Meatball down. These are the tragedies. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got some big balls in the sauce. Boom! Meatballs are done. We got them in the plate. Got a little parsley on top. And they're ready to eat, so let's try them out. Mm. Those are definitely some baller ass meatballs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in general, yep. Oh yeah. I definitely something you can put on some pasta. Thank you everyone for coming to cook with me at Nacho Mama's Greens. The meatless meatballs came out pretty good in my opinion. So make sure you communicate with us down below. Give us a little comment. Let us know if we should take something out or if we should add something. But once again, like and subscribe and come see us again. Deuces.